I'm James. Um, I'll be filling you in on Saturdays for oh god for queers with cameras. I'm 16. Um, I'm gay, and obviously I'm from England. I live in the Shropshire, Staffordshire area, so middle. I speak quite posh. Lee. I my passions are acting, singing badly. I can sing very badly. Writing. I'm actually writing a play um, at the moment. I'll show you a bit of it. Kind of like herpes. Reading. I love reading. Um, I've been reading for a long time. In regards to my future, I would love to be an actor, a writer, a director, um, photographer, I think. I love photography. Um, I'll show you some pictures I've taken. Bam! 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 And boom! Um, and an activist for um, civil human rights equality. Yes, equality. Um, I'm an A-level student. Um, people, in, if you're in America, you probably don't know what that is. But in the UK, that's the equivalent of um, being in the first year of high school, basically. Um, except in A-levels, um, you only study four subjects. And I'm studying English literature, um, theatre, obviously, film, et le français. For theatre studies, we recently did a performance, a, an assessment of our acting as a group performance. And I played a woman, um, a queen, obvious, of all women. Yeah. Um, had to wear these silky red pyjamas. And I had to sing. And I had to kiss a dude and basically shag him on a bed. Um, he was straight, and he was perfectly fine with it. He was actually more comfortable with it than I was. I was like, whoa. But, um, yeah. It went really well. Harry Potter. Harry freaking Potter. I can't tell you, oh god. I can't tell you how much I love Harry Potter. Um, I read the Philosopher's, the Philosopher's Stone when I was six. Mm. And... As you can see, it's about Gryffindor with an eye, well, first eye. Um, drew a broomstick, too. And for some reason, I wrote the movie after Philosopher's Stone. I still can't remember why. Um, I wrote Hogwarts School. And I wrote my name in my incredibly beautiful uh, handwriting. And that's my birthday. I don't know why I wrote that. Um, I haven't looked at this in years. Um, that's a snitch right there. Then if you can tell, it looks, kind of looks like an hourglass from that angle. Um, again, Gryffindor with an eye. What is that? I think it's meant to be, those two things, meant to be like towers in a castle. Anyway, there's little me saying my name. And there's another snitch. Have I written anything else? Again, the movie. Frick. I am something some people would call a muser. And a muser is somebody who is obsessed with the band Muse. I freaking love Muse. I cannot express how much I love them. Ugh. I have all their albums, including the live one. Hold on. The first one, Shave is... Ah, there we go. Second one, Origin of Symmetry. Then there's a live one with B-sides, Hullabaloo. <laughs> um, the next one, Absolution, which has my favourite song in it, Stockholm Syndrome. And then they did Black Holes of Revelations, which has Supermassive Black Hole, which was used in the Twilight film, and they've gained some fans from that. Um, another live album from Wembley. Mm. I could have gone to see them at Wembley in 2010, in September. I had it, the page to buy the tickets on the computer. 
Then I went to grab my mum and she got her purse and a credit card to get ready to buy them. Click refresh. Sold out. <laughs> anyway, um, and the latest album, Les Resistance. I just... Mm. I'm so jealous of Kate Hudson. Lucky bitch. Cats. Cats, cats, cats. I can't tell you how much I love cats. I love cats. When I have this pillow, it just cats, cats, cats. So yeah, um, this is me. Um, around half the things to say. And um, before you say anything, yes, this room is pink because it's my sister's old room and I'm going to be moving in soon, I think. But um, yeah, um, hope it's you've enjoyed this introduction. And yeah. <laughs> Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>